What is up, Dumont series? It's me, Anthony Castillo, with you guys for another talk. I want to give you guys a rundown on this topic of discussion. So as you guys are following the channel, I wanted to um, title this message and experimental studies. And what that kind of entails is gonna be, how do we apply spiritual synthesis? And what does that necessarily mean? So let's just, let's go ahead and get started. So I wanted to provide you guys a more conceptual framework on a particular methodology on how we can approach our everyday uh, thinking. So, and that's the process here about uh, Dumont series and the spiritual, um, you know, spiritual leadership and the spiritual coaching perspective of this is learning how to utilize specific concepts that do help uh, improve the thinking process rather than applying a particular regressive thinking process. And what I mean by that is that, you know, regressing a, a, regressing a particular thinking process is often associated with indoctrination. And as you guys listened to my previous talks, or my previous talks, I'm not necessarily here to uh, indoctrinate anyone. So um, later on in these different talks and these developments, I definitely want to uh, go more deeper into the uh, science of that stuff. Um, I want to be able to provide you guys conceptual frameworks where you guys can utilize to not be stuck in a psychological regression. Um, I know growing up, I was very indoctrinated. Um, so I know a lot of you are probably struggling with that as well. Um, so once again, um, the topic of this discussion is to kind of invest, to kind of go through an experimental study where we can remove the limited, limiting beliefs in our consciousness that can necessarily help us move us forward. Um, so what is spiritual synthesis? So let's just take for an example. Um, and I don't want to give you guys a lot of knowledge out there because I know it can kind of get overwhelming. But um, let's take, for instance, two hypothetical situations or two, yeah, two situations. So hypothesis Q and you have hypothesis R. Let's say that you are speaking with hypothesis Q. So a person, it could be anyone you're speaking with. And then for some reason, hypothesis R responds with a limited insight and they react in a way that often may cause harm to you later on down when you have to interact with hypothesis R. So basically, basically what this means is that the problem with person R is it often results in triangulation of their beliefs. Um, they often use limited insight to create some assumption that often results in causing hurt or causing affliction when you in interact with this person. Now you can apply this, once again, you can apply these concepts to even in the workforce, you can apply these in, the, or in any organization that you're in. Um, I know it, it's happened to me in the past where um, I've was speaking with someone and then later on when when a person R or a hypothesis R saw that I was speaking with someone, they thought that in their mind I was speaking about them or stuff like that. So basically what it is, there's a there's an uncon unconscious bias that's going on with a person R. And often that results in psychological projection. And so if you guys know anything about psychological projection, you know, sometimes it's, um, we often encounter individuals in, in society that project, you know, whatever beliefs they hold onto another person. Now, this can also mean those that are highly religious in certain communities may project their energy towards you as, you know, you are a, 
unworthy person and they might be unconsciously doing that and that might be their regression of their own religious upbringing now once again i want to clarify that dumont series is not within that pro it's not about that it's just more it's a spiritual approach to combat the indoctrination so it's not about doctrinating it's about in is about removing yourself from that basically so um how do we fix this problem so basically the solution is utilizing a new conceptual framework utilizing spiritual synthesis um basically creating a new chemical compound and creating a new physiological system in your reaction um this is often associated with um not responding to something and learning how to regulate basically so that's basically what i kind of wanted to run down for you guys kind of make it really simple and kind of concrete because i don't want to i don't want to complicate a lot of things because i can tell you real quick is that you know a lot of religious individuals out there that are that are really in they're with the doctrine will want to try to control and that's not the intent here um and sometimes that's person r's that's sometimes hypothesis hypothetical r's out there in our in our world and uh but yeah basically this is a research method a particular approach on how to create a new chemical response that removes your state from reacting from a person R in your life. Um, so yeah, uh, basically with this experimental study, I wanted to guide my research in a different um, direction, see how this goes. Um, I know a lot of you are out there probably struggling as well because you feel there's something inside you that's telling you that I need to stay within a doctrine. But if you don't, if that's causing limitations in your life, it's not allowing you to move forward in life. So um, I wanted to leave you guys with that. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying the channel. Remember, this is about spirituality. Those two things are different, religion and spirituality. Um, for those of you that also understand that I've studied uh, religion in college. Uh, I know a lot of different perspectives and different uh, techniques that people have used um, to help move and better their life. We don't want to be told on a particular passage that we are unworthy. And that's not the intent. This, this whole channel is about encouragement. It's about moving life to the next level. It's about moving you guys to the new direction and seeing the possibilities of a newer vision for your life. So that being said, um, hopefully you guys enjoy the channel. Remember, remember to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. All right. See ya.